hello uh, doing an impromptu live I know I normally do lives on uh, Tuesdays but I think Wednesdays is going to be working a little bit better now for me so I hope that is all right with everyone um, I hope you are having a wonderful week so far happy Wednesday and I hope those that are in lockdown at the moment in Victoria and New South Wales and Brisbane and now even New Zealand um, are all going okay. So very interesting times at the moment, that's for sure. So today I wanted to um, share with you how tracking your food intake can help with losing those extra kilos and um, yeah, just help you see where you're at diet wise. And I want to give you a copy of the tracker that I use with clients, which is, yeah, <laughs> um, I have an electronic version for you. So <laughs> I'll try and give it to you through the computer, but I don't think it, well, yes, that way. <laughs> try to crack a joke and it backfired. Anyway, <laughs> so um, anyway, so quite often we go about our daily lives, not really realizing how much we're eating. Um, if we're hydrated enough, if we're eating enough veggies um, in our diet, um, having too many treats, or if we're exercising enough. So since the challenge, um, you know, I wanted to share with you something that you could use to be able to help you stay on track with what you learnt in the challenge. Um, so yeah, if, if you're, it's interesting, um, when we, when we, sometimes we don't have a moment to stop, and then when we do, we realise that you know sometimes we go about what we're eating and what we're doing and we just don't think about it and then when we stop we realize that a few too many kilos have just suddenly appeared around our hips um, and we feel surprised and a bit unsure of how that sort of came about and sometimes believe that the only way to resolve it is to go on a diet but there is an easier way which is um, tracking your diet really um, so yeah tracking your food and um, water and exercise and oh, I'll show you what else is there tracking your food water um, sleep exercise and all of that is a great way to start that process so when you do this you get a clear picture of what you're eating how much you're drinking and how much sleep you're getting and um, and how much exercise you're doing as well. So not only do you get a clear picture of um, where you're at health wise, but you can also see what foods and habits may have caused the weight gain. Um, you get an understanding of what areas may require improvement and you become more conscious of what you're eating and doing overall. Um, you also get to see, um, well, you get to see what you may have eaten too much of or not enough of, especially when it comes to veggies. I'm a big one for veggies. <laughs> and you begin to see certain habits um, linking in with one another too. So if you're not getting enough sleep, this may result in you not having the energy to prepare a healthy meal or have you reaching for a sugary snack at like three o'clock type thing. Um, and when you write everything down, that you're eating and doing for a whole week, you can often be motivated to not eat or do certain things because you don't want to write them down. And vice versa, you can, um, you know, you often, you can get motivated to do certain things so that you can write it down and be like, ta-da, look at my perfect plan type thing. So, <laughs> um, so what I wanted to do is challenge you this week. I know another challenge for a whole week, but i um, challenge you to track your diet and lifestyle habits for a full seven days and share it in the Healthy Habits Made Easy Facebook group. Um, and if you do this, I'll personally review your completed diet and lifestyle tracker, and I'll provide you with three recommendations that you can begin to put in place to help you lose those extra kilos. So I just wanted to do that offer as a motivation to help you do that. So to get started, um, in the post above, there is a link to this tracker. It's in Excel. Um, when you download it, it'll go into your downloads area of your computer and you'll be able to print it off or, you know, you can even um, do it electronically on your computer and fill it in. So, yeah, um, I hope you take me up on this challenge. It's a great way to keep the motivation going. So we've done the five day challenge a couple of weeks ago. Things may have started to slide a little bit now. And so by tracking what you're doing, you can clearly see 
um, whether or not some of those things that you learnt may have taken a bit of a slide and you can start saying, okay, this is where I need to make some improvements. So yeah, I hope you take me up on the offer. I will, I will be providing three recommendations to those that actually share it in the group as well. Cool. All right. Well, I hope this is a very quick live, but um, I hope you are having a wonderful week. I'm thinking of you all and I'll talk to you soon. See you later. Bye.